Well, I've got my new Argon seal tarp finished. Got this from Dutch, the black Argon seal material. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than your standard 1.1 uh, seal nylon. This is a uh, finished weight. It's like just over one ounce per square yard where I think most of your finished seal is closer to 1.3, 1.4, so a little bit lighter uh, than the regular 1.1 seal. Uh, not that much harder to sew. I didn't have really any major trouble with it, no more than I would with the seal nylon. I've got a seal tarp I did last year and I wouldn't say this was any more difficult than than uh, the seal. Uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty lightweight. It's 11 foot ridge line, uh, roughly 9 foot across. Uh, the cat cuts I did were kind of shallow. I probably wish I'd have done them a little bit deeper. They're probably, I think they're about 5 inches in, uh, in at the center for the cat cuts. A little less on the edges. But it pitches pretty tight uh, so far. There's a little bit of a breeze today, so it's uh, and it's holding pretty, pretty nice. Um, next time I'll probably go with a little bit deeper cat cut, maybe. Uh, but but I'm I'm okay with this one. Uh, the I've seam sealed it and was out testing it this morning. Uh, I used the flowable. Uh, Permatex that you get for your window it's at the auto auto parts store I tried that that's the first time I've used it uh, it goes on okay so it leaves a nice kind of a thick coating on there maybe I put it on a little bit too thick but I've got a few spots around on one side that I need to go back and catch on this side I did a I did the flat French seam I think it's the hybrid seam that, that they have on DIY gear supply. That's what I used for the for the ridge line. I like that. It sewed really easy. Uh, but when I was seam sealing it, there's a spot or two. You probably can't tell, but there's a few spots on this side of the seam that I didn't come all the way over. So I'm going to go back when this is good and dry. I'm going to go back and put a little bit more of a, a bead down this side of the seam because I've got a couple of uh, spots underneath that did drip just a, a little but nothing too too bad you probably can't tell but there are a few few little spots underneath there that, that did drip so I need to go back and fix that uh, for the uh, ridge line tie out so you I'll use, well I use these triangle deals from DIY gear supply on all my tie out points I use some webbing here three quarter inch webbing on the ridge line for the uh, for the extra support, I used a piece of a 1.9, the diamond shaped piece, 1.9 orange that I had. Uh, for the ridge line uh, reinforcement, down on the corners, uh, I did the same deal with the triangle for the uh, tie out and some gross gain, three quarter inch gross gain for the. For the tie point, I uh, did the orange uh, 1.9 for the corner reinforcement, and it it's okay. It, it does fine. It, it, I didn't do a real good job of getting that nice and smooth. You can see kind of puckered some there. Uh, I did the stitching. I did uh, some bar tack or yeah, some bar tacking here, and then I did kind of a web design. I saw give a little credit to Squid Billy on that. He did that on some of his tarps. I kind of like the way that looked. So. I sewed from here out in three lines there, and then I sewed across the reinforcement there. Uh, probably could have done a better job keeping it from pucker, but uh, it, it works all right. So that's what she looks like all set up. Um, as you can see, I started out trying it with my I typically do a continuous ridge line. That's what this is up here. Uh, the Prussics were slipping on me when I was testing it. With I was putting a pretty good dose of water on it though, so that that may be why the Prussics were slipping pretty bad. But I've I've been trying out these stingers, Dutch's stingers, uh, and so far I like them. I, I was a little bit uh, at first. I really didn't 
it was kind of a pain to get it all centered over to using just a, a continuous ridge line. But um, but after seeing the, the Prusik Sliffy, um, I said, well, I'm going to try these. And of course, these don't have to deal with a Prusik, so I don't, they don't slip. And so when I was testing it with the water hose, these held a lot tighter. So I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna stick with those. I like I like that setup a little better. I think you know centering it's not too bad. Watch a couple times we practice it. So I think I'm gonna try that instead of the uh, continuous ridge line with the prussics. See how that works. But all right, thought I'd show it to you. See what you see, guys. See what you think. Give me some advice if you think I should have done anything different uh, for the tie outs. So I'm trying the uh, the surgical tube for the. Uh, tarp retention uh, just the rubber tubing with it's got a knot right in there and right in there with some slack inside and then I put I put a zip tie on each end to hold it over the knots and uh, it does a good job I mean I think it holds pretty good I've done that before it works all right that's a that's a zing it for the tie out and then I use some mason line there with a prusik on it for the uh, attachment to the tarp. Well, I figured if the wind gets really, really bad, the zingit probably wouldn't break. But uh, that mason line, which hopefully break before my tarp ripped to shreds, but maybe not. It may hold too. But I guess the weak point is the mason's line. Hopefully, not the tarp. But so far, I haven't had to have that problem. But just in case. So that's it. Argon. Seal tarp from Dutch. It's a 11 foot ridge line, 9 foot across uh, for the width, total weight with the uh, stuff sack guy lines, uh, and with it seam sealed in the stuff sack is right at 15 ounces. So that's uh, about 9 ounces lighter, 8 or 9 ounces lighter than my seal tarp. But the seal tarp is just a fuzz bigger. It may be like a 12 foot ridge line. But 15 ounces for 11 by 9 tarp. You know, it's not Cuban weight, but uh, still, uh, that's not too bad, I don't think. So, hope you enjoyed it. Just thought I'd let you take a look. Thanks, bye.